All right, guys. Tuesday, April the 11th. Got some headlines for you here. First off, from Pravada.ru, we have Giant Ocean Whirlpools Puzzle Scientists. I was linked here by a uh, subscriber of mine, Daniel of Doira. I'll read you a quick ex excerpt here, and I'll have this typed up in my video description. U.S. scientists discovered two giant whirlpools in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Guiana and Suriname. It became a sensational discovery because this part of the ocean has been studied thoroughly and no one expected anything like that to appear in this area. More importantly, no one can understand whether pools, excuse me, no one can understand where the whirlpools came from and what surprises they may bring to people. So this could be related to all the earthquakes going on. Although this area of the Atlantic has been pretty quiet recently. If it was the Pacific, I could probably theorize that it was the earthquake, but in the Atlantic, around this area, I don't know, people, something, these whirlpool vortexes are showing up again. We all remember the huge one in Japan. Next up on space weather, solar winds are real high right now. It's like they're topping out at about 641, it says here. As high as I've seen it in almost a month. Well, they've come down a little bit now, 610. And there's a new sunspot they're talking about here. It's growing rapidly. And it'll be Earth-facing very soon. Geomagnetic storm is in progress right now. So there'll be auroras most likely in the Northern Hemisphere sky this evening. I found this article here, Yellowstone Supervolcano Bigger Than Thought. I'll have this typed up as well. The gigantic underground plume of partly molten rock that feeds the Yellowstone Supervolcano might be bigger than previously thought a new image suggests. The study says nothing about the chances of a cataclysmic eruption at Yellowstone, but it provides scientists with a valuable new perspective on the vast and deep reservoir of fiery material that feeds such eruptions, the last of which occurred more than 600,000 years ago. So Yellowstone apparently is bigger than everyone thought. Joy, that's a little bit unsettling. And lastly here, here we are at Soho again. This is the Lasco C2 camera. And we either have another glitch or anomaly here. I've never seen one like this before. I'll have a slideshow of this as well so you'll be able to see it much better than you can on my video here. There it is right there. Look at this. It's, I've never seen a glitch like this before. It's a very interesting image, to say the least. More to come, people.